What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Third to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is Dead Third to Canada. We're jumping right back in. I'm recording this immediately after the last one, so I still have no updates on what I was talking about yesterday, and there's still nothing to worry about. This is the same choice we just had. We're gonna go bookstore this time. It saved, like, the loot we picked up. Yeah, and like, you know, Lynn's still gone. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Or if it's just a coincidence. I'm actually gonna take the knife from you, give you this wrench, take the gun from you, cause I don't want you wasting it. I'll give the gun to Will, and Patsy can keep a nightstick, but I'm probably gonna use Kung Fu. Let's go. There we go. Okay. I see the bookstore, but we're gonna go to this house first. Nothing here. Man, I'd love to get Rick or the Wiz. I'd be really pumped for the Wiz. He's so good, and it's early enough that we could get some really great fitness training in for him. Yep, sure. We're actually gonna go up and around. I thought there was another block up here. I don't know why I thought that. Oh my god. Okay, my heart rate's way up right now. Wow, Bookatorium, here we go. I don't want Patsy to die. I don't think it'd be the end of the run if she did. I think we'd actually be fine. We're likely to encounter another rare character pretty soon. Though we missed out on Clown, and that's a major disappointment. Losing Patsy would make it very difficult for the rest of the time. Until we got Valkyrie or something. Oh, come on, don't break the good book. I ain't talking about the Bible, I'm talking about 1001 exercises anywhere. Perfect. I love getting the combat stat uh, book books. Those are the best ones. Because combat stats are the only thing that you really care about for everyone. I mean, shooting would would have sucked again. Because, you know, Patsy can't shoot. But, I think she can still train strength and fitness, and everybody else can definitely still train strength and fitness. Wow. Still train strength and fitness. That's a little bit of a tongue twister. I didn't know that zombie was even there. Let's get into a room and make sure it's clear. We might have to fight a lot of zombies in here and it's like the perfect spot for it. So let's kill everything in the adjacent rooms. It's actually like the perfect room to fight a large crowd in, especially if they're only coming from one source. It's not going to be that large of a crowd. Or even a crowd at all, apparently. Because two's company, and three is a crowd. Unless you, uh... Unless, like, network television has something to say, to say about it, in which case three's company, two. But that's a different story altogether. So far, so good. We're getting a decent amount of loot. And, I believe, fitness training for all. I don't think it's strength. I think the strength book is like strength training for dummies or something like that. Though, no, that might be cardio for dummies, so maybe this is the strength training. Thousand and one exercises anywhere. What is this book? I don't remember. That's fine, because, you know, it's not like we can change it. It's not like we had a choice between the two and I chose the strength one over the fitness one by accident or something like that. And who's to say we even want fitness over strength right now? Etsy's got a higher fitness than strength. We want to train her fitness, but I'd rather train strength for the other two, I think.
and for her. Actually, I think I'd rather have fitness for the other two and strength for Patsy. This is a good room. A lot of food here. And some bullets. I was actually thinking that would be food. But that's okay. It still had a lot of food in it, regardless. Ooh. I don't think there's anything over here. There's not. There's a big crowd and more spawning, but, you know, nothing valuable. Let's get going. Yo, for real though, like, Margaret is almost a worthless character to have, and I don't know why I always take him. In this case, it was for safety. There's safety in numbers. Fitness did go up. Okay. So Margaret's fitness revealed it was bad. Uh, it was as low as it could go, but now it's not. Will is not too bad. He was neutral, now he's smiley, and Patsy is two above max at this point. And I think at her maximum as well. She can't go three above max, can she? No. Quiet town. We are going to scavenge the town thoroughly. Will gets hurt. That's actually not terrible. He got hurt twice, which is pretty bad, but he's healed once, so we're good. What a jerk. In the middle of the night... What? Margaret decides to steal as much of the food as he can carry before abandoning the, abandoning the mission? He just took 30 food? I didn't know he could do that. Have we ever had that happen before? We've had that guy like four or five times, and I don't think that's ever happened. Oh my god. Okay, never recruiting him again. He's not good. I'll probably forget. The chassis in perfect... Well... Oh, sh shit. The chassis was in near-perfect condition. The engine was d dead. I was going to jump it. Damage the chassis. Three points. Still have one in it. And then abandon the car because the engine was dead. Actually, probably repaired the car. So maybe this is a better option. Have the chassis intact. Will's going to repair it. We're going to run out of gas anyway. God. We need food now. Thanks, Margaret. All right. Man. We could have abandoned him, too. Dang it. I, I thought the reason not to take him was because he had terrible stats, not because he would rob you. There's probably a comment on yesterday's video saying, watch out, Margaret's gonna steal your food. And it's too late. It's, it's just too, too late. I'm sorry. I, for a little while, I was recording on a schedule such that I would, and I, I kind of want to get back into this but also I like getting advice mid run, but I was um, playing an entire run in one sitting in four videos. And then once it was over, once, once all of those had aired, I would record the next run. Sometimes two sittings or like, you know, like across two days, two a day. But lately I've been just kind of spreading them out more. Maybe two in a day and then one the next day and then wait a day and then do the next one. Uh, these were obviously back to back, but that's more just for scheduling conflict reasons and not knowing what the rest of my week is going to be like. And still needing to do some nuclear throne. I didn't put up a nuclear throne video yesterday, but that's because my internet was down, and by the time it came back up, Nuclear Throne was supposed to be out already. I did manage to... I already had uploaded... Yesterday, that's, uh... Monday. No, Tuesday now. So, yeah. Yesterday's video, for me, being Tuesday, so this is Tuesday's video. On Tuesday, my internet was down until, like, 2 p.m. Um, 
and it was like 2.30 when it came back, I think, when, oh yeah, I, I had already uploaded Death Road to Canada the day before, but didn't have, like, the, the thumbnail and all that for it, so I just, I did that from my phone, which is a pain, which is also why Tuesday's Death Road video went up a little bit late, not like super, I think it was like 10 minutes late, but it was because I realized that I could do it from my phone after it was already supposed to be up. Uh, but Nuclear Throne, there was no way I could, I mean, I could have uploaded that from my phone with like USB tethering from my computer to use the uh, internet connection from my phone on my computer to upload it, but that would have taken like three hours. So forgive me. And with Death Road, I tend to try to stay daily. If I if I mess up the schedule, I still put one up. But um, with Nuclear Throne, it's more like, oh, I missed today's. I will just put it up on Thursday instead. It's a little bit more lax. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. We're recouping some of the lost food. We've got 10, which is enough. I mean, we've only got two people on our team. I'm hoping for a good rare character. We've had two rare character encounters, Margaret and Clown. And obviously we weren't even given the option of recruiting Clown and Margaret is a jerk. What a jerk. Okay, oh, this way. Ooh. A lot of pads here. Wow, big room. Keep it moving. Never stand still. Gotta keep those. Gotta keep that APS high. APM. Actions per minute or second. I don't know. I I don't really follow esports. I have nothing against them. I'm just not interested in them personally. And I don't play, like, League of Legends. I'm not a big MOBA fan. I guess I can see the appeal. There was a time in my life where I would have said, I don't see the appeal in the slightest. And I'm like, coming down off of that. I can see how some people might find them fun. I just don't. I'm not big into... inherently competitive games like I feel like be, especially because it, League of Legends is primarily a team game you can't really play it did we already go in there I don't remember going so close to the edge of the map ever I guess we did um, unless you have a bunch of friends that also want to play really casually you can't really play it casually um, and if you do want to play it casually, you're just going to lose all the time. And winning's not everything, but sometimes you do want to win. And uh, that's not fun. With games, like, I know you might be thinking, you don't like inherently competitive games, but you just got Player Unknown Battlegrounds and you're going to start streaming it? That seems a little bit of a contradiction, doesn't it now, Dog and Pony? Maybe you're a little bit of a you know, contradicting, I don't know, a hypocritical Harry. And I say no, because you can play PUBG casually and still do well. And it's fun without winning. And even if you don't win, you can still feel like you did well. It's not win or lose, you place. You know, if you get top 50, you feel good. Patsy robs them and runs. Patsy tells the camp to cool it. We can drive off with no sleep or we can just camp with them. We got the good result. The group takes a risk and goes to sleep in the crowded camp. One of the other groups learns about the trip to Canada. They give some supplies because they say you'll need it more than they will. Some bullets, medical supplies. So I think we're finally going to be able to heal Will up. Oh, Nessie, Nessie, it's okay. 
She's having a little doggy nightmare, I think. Nessie! Hey. Okay. She woke up. That's all I wanted to do. Her and Rocky both do that a lot. Okay. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. We have no gas. I'm going to attempt to fix it just to see if we could train Will's uh, mechanical. He easily repairs the car in no time. We make it a little bit further, and we're out of gas. I knew we had zero gas. We gotta pay the toll. Patsy would die if we didn't. And Will can't make it on his own. Ant attacks. Heal up. No medical supplies. We're tired. Cat attack. And... Car? Wow. Finally. That was probably one of the roughest encounters we've had recently. One of the roughest, like, times we've had on foot. Ooh, a muscle car. It's not bad. I can't lift picnic tables. I thought I could lift picnic tables. What was that talking about? Oh, yeah. And, additionally, you can do really well at PUBG even just as a casual player. And I still think, okay, don't get me wrong. I know I got really lucky. But when you win the first game you've ever played in solos, I mean, that's pretty indicative of the fact that it's mostly a game of luck and not a game of skill. And therefore you can do really well, even if you're just a casual player. So I think it's the, it's not just that it's competitive in nature, but that it's almost exclusively competitive. This is League of Legends again. And most MOBAs, it's not just League of Legends, it's all MOBAs. They, uh, they're inherently exclusively competitive. And he, there, I, I find it difficult to have fun just popping on, playing a quick game and stopping. And I can do that with any single player game, basically. I mean, as long as it's fun, I'll play a single player game. Um, and a lot of other multiplayer games, I think Will's gonna die. It's not that bad, honestly. I could have saved him. I kind of just let him die. I regret it now that I'm actually thinking about it. I was thinking, we'll recruit a rare character and in the meantime, we won't use as much food. But like, that was stupid. I'm gonna come right out and say, I messed up. But at least it was intentional and I didn't just like accidentally let him die in a really easy scenario. Like I could have saved him easy. I didn't. I could have just not run, run in there. I did. I, I did anyway. Um, so I made a strategical mistake rather than a poor. Re, like I, I, I played well, but made a bad decision, and I think that's easier to fix. Get in the car, not like short term, but long term. Being bad at combat means you have to practice. Being bad at making decisions means you just have to learn to make better decisions. We're gonna jump it. We just got the muscle car. Perfect. That's actually not bad at all. I really wish we'd encounter a rare character next. Okay. I, oh, that's also not bad. We might be able to buy a new person. We have 14 food, which means if we have to spend 10 to recruit them, we'll still have enough for uh, one one more night, which is perfect. Honestly, I thought we'd get some food there. If you're wondering, we got bullets. We're going to tell this guy to cool it later. Mechanic Savant. We want nothing to do with. We'll probably just tell her to say, uh, say it and not spray it. And nothing there. No rare characters, unfortunately. All right. Say it, don't spray it. And we're out of here. Uh, that is going to be all for now. But thank you for tuning in. It's a little bit of a cliffhanger, to be honest. 
And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next episode.